and a warm welcome to Art House. I'm Melinda Akilami. On today's edition of the show, we enjoy more spoken word coming from another group in the commercial hub Lagos. Then we head to the nation's capital Abuja for an exhibition involving two countries. That and more in a moment. Do stay with us. Even in silence, we are living our stories. The Association of Professional Creative Artists and Designers explore Nigerian and Korean visuals with this exhibition at the Federal Capital Territory, Abuja. The Korean Exhibition Hall is where creatives from two continents are exploring Nigeria and Korea visuals in over 60 works of art that include paintings, sculptures and designs. We are hosting an exhibition that has to do with intercultural exchange between the Republic of South Korea and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. APCAD represents the Federal Republic of Nigeria, while the Korean Cultural Center represents the Republic of Korea. So we are exhibiting along with them. They are showcasing their arts, their masks, the fashion. We are showcasing our visual arts and that is why the exhibition has to do with exploring the visuals of both cultures. I'm an African painter and I do a lot of abstract work. So the, the, the African thing in it, the fabric brings in the African thing in my work. So underneath every of my work, I have a lot of works. You notice that I have um, a bit of fabric in them. And um, the essence of that is also to kind of promote our culture. And that's why we're doing this Korean, Nigerian thing. It's kind of trying to promote our Nigerian culture. This is our first step of this exhibition. I know very soon we're going to do more. So this collaboration is one in the series that we have put together and there's going to be a lot of other ones to be able to help to grow. We are more or less partnering with these uh, countries for intercultural exchange and to be able to enhance and promote Nigerian art and the culture of the people of Nigeria as well as that of the people of South Korea. Over the years, Korean artists have developed a unique style seen in their simplicity and the Oriental culture shines on, but that is not in short supply in the pieces the Nigerian artists are showing. As expected, both sides of the divide attend the event. While the Korean visitor gazes in awe at the details, her Nigerian counterpart is now content with admiring this works. She chooses to capture it on her device. Well, if you notice here, we have a lot of young artists, some of them, some, some, of them, some uh, school leavers who just graduated from secondary school. We have two of them who is beaten. We have taken time to try to support and encourage them to be part of the growth that we are trying to build. I met this work during the elimination of violence against women and the theme is Orange the World. And then when I was working on it, uh, the pain a woman feels came into my heart and that was what I displayed in my work. Then this is life choices and what that means is you have the right to choose what you want to be or how you want to be in life. So you have different things happening in the world, different things happening in your life, different things happening in your environment. The artists explore an array of topical issues. Some of them talk about restoring the Nigerian identity, which for this artist is going down the drain. Our forefathers, they handed over our culture to a particular group of people. You understand? But 
I discovered that these generations, they've gone out, you understand, to uh, explore other culture that is not of us. We need to document what we have in order to, uh, to preserve it for upcoming generation. Then what they used to create the works of art. This is acrylic. I used acrylic paint. I, first of all, I called it rich to the top. Yes, it's acrylic on um, paper, but I textured my paper with um, fabric. So, it, And the fabric, I used African fabric. You can recognize these ones. I am a fabric painter, actually. It's um, kind of a mixed media thing, and the essence of this is um, to texturize the work, to give a body, and to give it um, layers. So I use fabric to layer the work. Children are God's gift. You know, it's gifts from God. Let them keep the baby. They will not die, but at the end of the day, they will be happy about the baby. So that is just the idea concerning the work. You know, it's a, a computer graphics painting. You know, it's computer-generated image, painted with in computer and also printed. That's why the Association of Professional Creative Artists and Designers believe Nigeria has what it takes to make money from this sector, which is more than art for art's sake. There's an automatic exchange. I will learn the other, the one from Korea will learn. So with that, what I've learned, I, if I put in my work, it will improve my work. It will help me, uh, my work meet international standard. So we are looking at one day art to be fetching a lot of money for this country. And that's what we are built to achieve. Before now, the creative art sector hasn't been recognized anywhere. We are trying to see a situation whereby the creative arts will have total recognition in this country, where there will be an act to establish the Council for the Registration of Artists, where artists will be funded by the federal government, and things like that. These are things we are working on and we tend to achieve. Beyond that, they are bringing it here so the East Asian nation can get a feel of the Nigerian culture, which is a good way of giving the country a makeover. For example, Wale Shoenka is a creative artist. If you say you're from Nigeria, they ask you if you know Wale Shoenka, and that's a good image for Nigeria. Among the, 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 the BV of a lot of bad names that we have received at this country, we're using art to recreate the image. What is uh, California? Music? fashion, movies, art and all that, the visual art, the creative industry. That is the way forward. And the creative industry builds the creative economy. The creative economy is embedded in the culture of the people. It is the culture of the people that, be, that, that helps to discover the root of the people. You can actually gauge the origin of the people based on their culture, based on the evolutions of the artwork that emanate from there. And the fact that African art has become a toast for the world going by the numbers. One of the major tenets of this association is to create an environment where the Nigerian art will contribute to the GDP of the economy. And in so doing, create employment, wealth generation, and help budding artists, especially those who are just growing, to be able to produce more works, make more money. And it's going to assist them as well to have self-esteem, self-recognition. And then they will be among those that will say, yes, I did a good job by being an artist. Just like you have in Europe and other parts of the world, people are so comfortable to say that they're artists. So it should be the same thing here. That's what the association is striving to achieve. If you look at um, the, the British expedition of the Benin expedition of 1790, a lot of over 6,000 artworks were carted away from Africa. These artworks historically are more valuable to the Van Goghs and to Picassos of today. If an artwork that is made in the 1900s will sell for five, four million dollars, if you multiply 6,000 works taken from here by the colonial masters in today's ratings, we're talking about over 40 trillion naira. The works of artists from Africa today is the new way to go. The, the current market price of artworks today is shifting towards the value of African art. Today we sell artworks from Professor El Anasui, who is a Ghanaian artist, a professor uh, at Nsoka. His work uh, called the New World Map sold for 600,000 pounds. The shimmering bottles from him as well sold for one point two million pounds. 
the home of the real original artwork is Africa. Nigeria is a hub of artworks and we are ready and ready to collaborate with whoever is available there to help to boost the artwork of Nigeria. A South Korean and Nigerian PC sharing the spotlight can be likened to a partnership that works, given the right atmosphere.